sort of rebuttal. Because I heard someone talking about the fact that maybe YouTube will overtake Twitch in the next few years. Five to ten years. Hmm. I'm gonna have to see what Fanta has to say about that. <laughs> but the real messed up part is be the fact that where he's like, oh well, the YouTube algorithm, if you know how to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you'll be able to actually do great in YouTube. And I'm like, I don't know what to say. It's pretty crazy that Last Man on Earth, the first review I did of the first two episodes, that got over 10,000 views in the first night. And I'm like, if only all those people would have just subscribed to me then and there, I would have already done my goal of 10,000. I would have been done. I would have been over the moon. Who knows what will happen after that? It's like maybe I'll get promoted more and more and more and more to the point where it's like, oh man, you got a ten thousand. Look at you, you're basically going skyrocketing a little bit now. That's freaking awesome, man. And it's like it didn't happen, and here I am just trying to go chugga 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 chugga. At least I made it to one thousand. It's like yeah, at least I made it to that. But it's like yeah, but that's a far cry considering. It's been years. It's like, yeah, it's like I'm one tenth of the way, trying to get to one and a half tenths of the way. And it's like, man, what the frick? Pretty sure one thing that really was the messed up issue has to be the fact of when D told me about they marked a video of mine. They just straight up marked it as an adult. And it's like, fuck. I think another thing that really actually was another nail in the coffin is the fact of where the COPA laws took effect. And now you have this messed up thing of where it's like, it's for adults, it's for kids. And I still have to say, it's kind of bull crap. It's like, I understand, but it's not really needed. Where it's like, but the people who make the content for the kids, they love to hear the feedback of how the kids love it. Now it's just basically like as if they're on the television screen and just like the people on the television screen is like, let's go with big comfy couch. They don't know if the kids love it. They know it's a hit. They know lots of um, people are watching it, but they don't actually hear the kids themselves saying how much they love it. And that's the messed up part. It's like being a part of the snow globe. And the messed up thing is that the snow globe, the person inside the snow globe does not give any love whatsoever. And everyone who's a part of the kids channel now, unless it's merchandise, we're like, oh, they're paying for our merchandise. So we know they love us. And it's like, man, you, you, you freaking cheese, man. It's just sad where it's like now it's basically like the old days where it's like the only way how they know that kids love them and they can actually hear feedback from the kids alone is if they actually do meeting group meetings, you know, actual showing up in a place being like, hey, everybody. Yeah. That's the only way how they get that. So it's like back in the day instead of now where and of course it's kind of funny someone glanced over it's like they're now the reason why they got rid of the comment part was because of these chinese gymnastics teams over there and there were perverted people who was looking at the crap which i'm like i don't know what to say on that one where i'm like yeah it shouldn't have been all of it it's like even power rangers to this day is all for kids but yet we can't say anything about it it's like, oh, back in my day when I, that first came out, it was the best thing ever. It was so damn awesome. It's like, we can't say anything. <laughs> we can't say anything. We only just can put it on freaking Twitter, share it on Twitter, and just say what you want to say. That's all you get to do. I still wish they could, and it's like, it's funny where it's like they do have a second channel. So it's like, can you please make one of the channels where we can actually comment? There's not going to be a freaking perverted bastard that's doing crap. And if there is a perverted bastard, we will get on them and kick them out. But nope, still no comments. Still can't do any comments. Hey, at least they were able to manually make their own um, playlist. Good for you. <laughs> when I tried to do it, I couldn't do it because it was rated for kids. 
So he just gets messed up. And then, of course, the whole thing of where it's like, oh, well, the reason why you're downplayed and stuff is because they want to put ads on people's te on people's videos, even though they don't ask them and they're not monetizing themselves. And it's like, that's the reason why you're pushed to the side, because they can't actually put any ads on your videos, allegedly. And it's like, yeah, but it's messed up. If they put ads on my freaking thing, if I'm not using anything and everything's fair use, then how the frick are you getting money out of this and I'm not getting anything out of it? It's kind of messed up. And you can say, oh, it's because you're using their stuff. And it's like, yeah, but using their stuff is freaking damn free. So it's messed the frick up that they're able to put ads on videos and yet yeah, I don't get anything out of it. Messed up. Messed up. But considering no one's actually, I don't think anyone has yet to say that there was ads on my videos, so that's a good news. We might be good, but still it just means that I've been marked. Yeah, the reason why I'm not growing as much as I could is because they basically made it very, very slow as a turtle. And it sucks. Hey, I could still do the shorts. Yeah, but not a lot of people actually are subscribing to me for that, though. It just gets very messed up where it's like, uh, this person said, oh, it's, it's easy to go on YouTube and do something and you can grind it out and da da da. And it's like, dude, it's not easy to freaking do YouTube. It was easy to do YouTube. I would have had 10,000 subscribers already. I would already have freaking Patreon baby done. The stuff that I'm doing is like, yeah, I would have like upgraded technology. I would have the computers. I would have the power. I, it was like, it would be like, oh, look what happened way back in year one. Now look at him at year eight, year 10, year five. Holy crap. Yeah, but since that didn't happen, I'm basically still going with the usual thing. The only difference is that I'm able to have a few more techniques that can be done, and I think fair use has finally went kind of okay. Because I was kind of hesitant because I got snapped like a few times of doing stuff. And now I think I'm okay, but yeah, now it's like it's kind of going to take more time consuming. That's why some of the reviews that could have came out hasn't come out because I want to actually add more stuff to it. But the whole thing of where it's like, oh, it's easy to go on YouTube. You just got to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's like, no, no, it's not easy. It's not that freaking easy. It's like, damn, it's not that freaking easy. If it's that easy, then the others that are like me or whatever, like D, for instance, D technically should be like at like 100K right now. I'm just saying D should technically be like way above there. And yet he isn't. It's like, yeah, there's many other ones where I'm like, pretty sure they could actually be a little bit more higher than they are right now. And it just sucks that this is not doing anything. And we can't even go with the whole thing of like, oh, well, you're not doing a video a day thing anymore. And that's what screwed over the algorithm. I'm like. You know, I did that over there on the other channel. It didn't do much for it. That's the sad truth. It didn't do much for it. But of course, it's kind of a niche topic. As for the one that actually is very experimental, it is still chugging along. It hasn't even reached 1,000 subscribers, but I was still a little bit pissed off being like, oh, you got 400 K, 400 subscribers? Oh, you bastard. <laughs> and it's like, I can't find any real content to put on that one besides the ones I kind of want to do. But it's like, I have to have the cell phone to do it so I can put it in shorts. But then it's like, what the fuck? And it, it gets even crazier where it's like, so the owners of the clip I used just to see, just to experiment, just to make it actually get a little bit more subscribers and a little bit more bigger. The idiots at WB, WBTV, decided to do the dumbest thing ever and freaking just copyright it and then blocked it to be on on mobile. And I'm like, you 
dumbass. It was supposed to be a YouTube short, you damn dumbass moron. And we're like, oh, well, that's because you're trying to monetize it. And it's like, do you see me have 1,000 subscribers over there? Do you see me subscribe, monetize any of the videos? You are a damn ass moron. A fucking moron. And I get it is yours. But the messed up part is like, even if it's freaking damn yours, let it have a freaking week. Then you can fuck it over. That was an experiment just to see how it would go down. And plus, I was kind of actually promoting Bel Air. And those sorry asses were like, no, no, no. You're blogging mobily and we copyright it and you can't monetize it. And it's like, are you guys dumbass idiots or what? It just keeps on being crappy where it's like the companies are kind of dumbass at times. It's like, dude, there might be some people who don't make the connection that Bel Air is the other version of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So if I my video actually made it through, think about how the new people could actually have been like, hmm, be fresh air into Bel Air, Bel Air, fresh air. Oh, oh my goodness, it's like oh junk, because there might be some who don't know, because you know there might be some people who don't for you damn know, and now here I am exposing them to that crap, and your good response is to just shoot it out of the sky. And there we go. It doesn't get on. Sometimes companies are just complete dumbasses. I'm just saying. It's the fact of where it's like, listen. I thought of that shit. You should have at least did me a solid. And freaking put it on your shit then. It's like, yeah, if you're so pissed off. Then take my video and put it on your damn channel. There you go, you dumb bastards. And you don't get to pay my ass because, well, you know, it's your content and I took my time to do something to make it actually look decent. Just whatever, man. Just whatever. This, it's like YouTube is not that easy to freaking climb the charts. There's just a small percentile that's able to skyrocket up. Everyone else is going to have to really go up the steps. It's like many of them actually found the escalator while here we are being like, oh, we got to take the stairs going upstairs. Got to take the stairs. And there's some of them who actually use the freaking damn elevator. It's just messed up that it's not easy, dude. It's not easy. If you're talking about the whole streamers, like the streamers part of the aspect, and it's easy for them because they just have to grind okay but dude you just said youtube is easy to do period you didn't say for streamers youtube can be easy to do and that's the messed up part that you freaking did in the video it's not easy it's not easy at all man it's like if it was easy i would already reach my goal i would have patreon and i would have a more decent of a freaking way of living I'm just saying I'm just saying